story time. Uh, so this year is the year of horse. So we will tell stories about horse. Once upon a time, there was a, a great poet. He wrote a poem. One of the sentences One of the sentences was Ta Hua Gui Lai Ma Ti Xiang Ta Hua is stepping on the flowers Gui Lai is return Ma Ti is horse feet Xiang is fragrant so the whole sentence could be translated into the horse feet was fragrant after stepping on the flowers. So I didn't translate it poetic enough. But uh, if you have a, a better translation, just send it to me and uh, put a comment. I think you roughly know the idea is in a beautiful weather. So just uh, imagine in a beautiful spring day. Life started coming back. Blue sky, white cloud, bright sunshine, and trees is starting. Trees started to have little sprouts. Young leaf and uh, grasses, green, green, green grasses with flowers everywhere, and the whole mountain, whole land, whole field, field with flowers. And the poet, and the poet, the poet went out with horse. He had a promenade in the beautiful flower field. And he was sitting on the horse, and the horse runs in the flowers, runs in the grasses that had blo flower blossom. So his feet, or the horse's feet, stepped on the flowers. And the flower was becoming, and the horse's feet became fragrant, a beautiful poem. So the emperor decided to have a painting of this poem. And uh, he put this poem and let the whole country, whoever can paint it, Whoever could paint it would get great reward. The first came, didn't do it well. The 
second came, didn't do it well. Third came, didn't do it well. So many had come, but no one had done a good job or satisfactory job. Everybody could paint beautiful mountain, beautiful sky, beautiful grass, beautiful flower, beautiful horse, beautiful point. But nobody could paint the fragrance, the fragrance on the horse feet. Finally, there was one guy. He painted one little thing, one little tiny thing, and everybody was amazed, impressed, and everybody was convinced that that was the best. Now here is your turn. How would you paint this painting? Or how would you guess that poem, that artist painted this po poem? So it's your turn to guess how this poem was painted, how this poem was illustrated by this wonderful artist. Okay, this is the first one, and I will give you another one. So the second one is a, is a calculator. It's a number game. Once upon a time, in a beautiful autumn afternoon, there were a few friends went out to an orchard. This orchard has peace. So many beach, wonderful beaches. So there was. So they got back. They got back some peaches, and uh, now we want you to guess how many people went there and how many peaches they got. There is a hint, a cue, a clue, an indication. The indication is a group of people, they got this many peers, and if everyone get one peer, there is one extra. If everyone get one, there will be one extra. Gosh, I'm confused with the word tense. Okay, those friends, if everyone got one, there would be one more extra. If every person got two, there would be two less. There would be two not enough. Okay? If everyone got one, 
there would be one too many. If everyone got two pigeons, there would be too too few. So how many people were there and how many pigeons were there? I have to guess. And another story. Once upon a time, there was an old guy who was And the old lady he had was a whore. 